should be an interesting contest because both offensive matchups really are going to come down to defense. Which team is going to be able to stiffen up at that end of the floor? Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. At small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Pat Connaughton is out there with Damian Lillard, and it's Lopez in at the center position. Good luck against Giannis in the paint. Get out of the way is probably your best option. On the wing, Curry. Wiggins looking around. Pass to Thompson. Now Curry. The three is up. Rebounded by Lopez. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Back to Lillard. Three-pointer. And Ana Kumpo the bucket on the assist by Lillard. Ana Kumpo has got five now. You can't give Giannis a good look from three. He's really improved that part of his game. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Just five to shoot. Here's Looney. Lays it up and banks it in. You know, the screen wasn't that great, but still he got it done. Excellent concentration on the hard finish. Lillard against Curry. Pass to Connaughton. Three-pointer is up. Middleton nails it from three. Man, it's obvious that Middleton has great confidence. I mean, you can just see it oozing out of him. He's so good at catching the defense off balance and knocking down the catch-and-shoot jump shot. Looney finds Thompson. Wiggins outside. Curry with it. Gets a very good look and converts. And, you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Lillard. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. He drops it from range. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Pass to Wiggins. And here's Curry. Green with a screen on Lillard. Curry passes to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. We know Curry has tremendous vision, and he uses it to tee up his teammates for easy shots. Middleton against Wiggins. Lopez, the screen on Wiggins. Here's Middleton. Again, the box. Good for two. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Curry against Lillard. Thompson left side. Wiggins outside. Green with a screen on Middleton. Wiggins. Again, the Warriors score. Uh, this is the dilemma defensively. I mean, when Wiggins glides off the pit, he's hard to shadow. Lopez, the screen. And the box hit again from deep. <laughs> They're getting toward the Kumpo. And the layup is good off the glass. Honor Kumpo's got seven points. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Buries it from three. It looks easy, effortless. Curry, natural from long range. And it's Lillard with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. First chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. We see these teams face off only twice a year. Last year, each one won. Really easy to tell that this is an important game. I mean, I don't know if the crowd will get a chance to take a breath in this one. And here's Curry. Five points in the game. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Oh, stolen by Lillard. And so it's Milwaukee closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. 
cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Dario Saric is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Peyton in at the three. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Here's Paul. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. We've had many impactful European players throughout the years, Clark. What makes their style of play so different? You know, I think it's really how they're trained from the time they start playing the game, B.A. Every player, regardless of size, is taught to think and feel and play the game fundamentally sound. And I love that. I think that's something that should be mimicked in the States. Train kids to play the game the right way in all aspects of it, no matter how small or tall they are. You know, Chris Paul has probably forgotten more about basketball than most of us know. He's an encyclopedia of knowledge for the game. And so he makes both from the line. And with a single punch in last season's training camp, it seems the Warriors' culture of joy and togetherness really took a hit, Grant. You know, I agree, B.A., and that's what they need to recover from. You know, keeping that connection and commitment to a common purpose is so crucial to winning. Beasley outside. There's the triple. Gets the three ball to go. This is how confident Beasley is. What a quick trigger finger off the catch for that jumper. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr has somewhat of a hands-off approach. He said, quote, coaching isn't controlling. My goal by the end of the year is to just sit there and do nothing. And that means it works because that's what a coach's job is. It's not to pull strings, call every play and direct traffic. It's to say, this is your team. B.A.? Yeah, that's how you have to think about it, right? Thanks, Allie. Beasley misses. The Warriors trailing. On the wing, Peyton. Back to Paul. Pass to Curry from the arc. And the Warriors with another three. It's one of the many things that Paul is known for, his ability to find open teammates. Milwaukee has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. Crowder, a screen on Peyton. Beasley outside. Three-pointer. He buries it from three. Beasley's got six. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. And it's Paul off the drive. And stolen by Middleton. The three is up. Sinks the tray. And it's a nine-point Milwaukee lead. Nice handles by Middleton. Actually, really impressive handles. Put on the show with that dribbling exhibition. Pass to Sharich. Back to Paul. Crowder against Kaminga. Just five on the clock. Back to Paul. The open J off the mark. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. And Clark with Jake Crowder. He's always been an asset for a team in contention. Defensively, he's versatile. He can defend a number of different positions when you look at Jay Crowder. And that, that allows him to be a guy that you can give good minutes to in the playoffs. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. That free throw good from Middleton. Well, Clark, in the 2023 playoffs, the Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And in an eight versus one seed upset, we all thought they were set to make a deep playoff run. But injuries, untimely as they were, and the Heat had other plans. Both free throws good from Middleton. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike, he's going to cash in more than not. Here's Curry. Give him eight points now. 
Thompson, a screen on Lillard. Thompson outside to halt the run. Oh, Thompson buries the trade. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list here. Pass to Middleton. On the wing, Connaughton. Kumpo outside. The three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Warriors. Eight-point game. Back to Wiggins. A minute 15 left in the first half of basketball. The three from Curry. And the Warriors with another three. I like this trend. He's hit two triples this period. Has three for the game. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Lopez is checked in. Lillard passes to Lopez. The three. And Lillard gets it to go on the assist by Connaughton. Lillard's got six. A genuine sniper from downtown. Lillard's confidence is what makes him so dangerous. Green with a screen on Lillard. Hall passes to Wiggins. Thompson scanning the floor. Another three for Golden State. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Connaughton with a screen on Wiggins. A shot from the high post. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. He's got 15. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the ball as well as Middleton does, you want to be hungry and looking for your shots. I mean, shot hungry is a good thing when you've got the stroke that he has mid-range and long distance. Thompson against Connaughton. Thompson passes to Paul. Over Lillard. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Bucks on top. They lead by five. That first half had to take a lot out of and as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And you think about the value of continuity, Clark. A new coaching staff for these Bucks, but the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry. Well, I'll tell you what, Giannis is at the center of everything they do, B.A., including winning that championship. Not many conflicting personalities certainly helps, and these guys are well molded together. Taking a look at the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez together down low. Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. And it's Lillard in at the point guard position. Curry passes to Looney. Middleton against Thompson. Pass to Green. Back to Curry. Over Lillard. That's good from Curry. On the assist by Green. Green's got his third assist of the night. Huge night for Curry in a great rhythm thus far. That's always bad news for the team he's facing. Lopez, the screen on Wiggins. Here's Middleton. And the shot goes down. Middleton's got 17 points. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Thompson, that's good. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Lillard against Curry. Inside. Here's Middleton. Another one falls for Milwaukee. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Thompson against Connaughton. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Oh, Curry. Just nasty from downtown. Oh, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. Lillard outside. Fires from deep. He can't get that one to fall. 
Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. The kick out to Wiggins. Pass to Looney. There's the three. Another three for Golden State. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. The Bucks have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something. Here's Hanna Kumpo. He's got nine. Pass to Lillard. Hanna Kumpo is doubled. Middleton against Looney. Hanna Kumpo, a screen on Looney. Clock at six. Oh, Giannis using his size inside. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, after 941 days sidelined by an ACL and then an Achilles tear, Clay Thompson's back doing what he loves. He said, quote, in the beginning, I was so eager to prove that I'm still great. Now I'm more relaxed, reminding myself that this is a dream that I'm living. What matters most is just having fun and playing hard, and all the big nights, they'll come. Brian? Yeah, that's the right perspective, Ali. Thanks for that. The basket counts, and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Man, you can't teach the toughness that Thompson plays with. He simply refuses to back down. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Team foul. At the line for the Dubs, Clay Thompson. One shot. one drops he ties it up in the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock on it kumpo outside pass to beasley and a great assist by on kumpo and that one goes in beasley's got eight points and then a kumpo nice pass there good at finding his open teammates to the paint. Here's Paul. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. Honor to Kumpo, looking it over. Pass to Lopez. Six on the shot clock. Kaminga pulls it in. Golden State has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Wiggins passes to Paul. 27 seconds left to play in the third quarter. And the basket by Curry. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. against Lillard. Lopez, the screen on Paul. For three, here's Lillard. Lillard drains the outside shot. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Wow. And it goes! Yes. It's a big shot at the... Big time alley-oops and monster throwdowns. Passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Gary Payton the second is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Gay in at the center spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Paul against Connaughton. Paul passes to Curry from outside the arc. It's hauled in by Portis. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And Giannis with the dunk. Once Giannis gets that close to the rim, you know that he'll do everything he can to make the finish happen. 
Here's Curry. Curry at the rim. Ooh, that's like velvet. That's the kind of finger roll that ends up on old highlights. So it's Milwaukee now. Beasley, pass to Connaughton. Pass to Portis. Soft touch off the glass. Portis has gotten his first basket of the night. Slick moves inside by Portis to avoid the defense for the hoop. Okay, outside. On the wing, Peyton, covered by Crowder. And here's Curry for three. Drains the triple. Curry's got 30. His points are really adding up from the three-point line. He had nine from distance in the first half, and he's only getting better. Time out, time and the Bucks out. call time here. Man, it's been quite a game. And the Warriors will go with a different look here. Looney's checked in for Gay. Green comes in for Kaminga. Wiggins, he's checked in for Peyton. And it's Thompson in for Paul. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, over the break, I listened in on Adrian Griffin's huddle. He told the team he has complete faith in them, saying, we're right there. Now we just got to make that push and really take hold of the game. We can do that. To me, it looked like his players are on the same page with him. Guys, back to you. Okay, thank you, Allie. And that one's good. Middleton. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Curry with it. Looney, a screen on Lillard. And here's Curry for three. Another three for Golden State. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Lillard, a screen on Thompson. Middleton from the outside. It's rebounded by Golden State. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Thompson's shot is off. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Oh, what a fast break for the Warriors. Here's Curry. Oh, Curry with the hustle. And Steph Relish is taking key shots. It's what he's out there to do. Lillard against Curry. Fires the three, and Damian Lillard gets a three. It's Dame time. Whenever this team needs a big shot, he knows how to get one. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And here's Curry for three. And again for three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Tries to spin move. Middleton from the outside. Yes. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got three assists now in this one. Now Curry. Thompson right side. 110 left to play in the fourth quarter. Curry draws the double. Thompson gets a good look. On the wing, Thompson. Outside Curry. Down low. Here's Looney. Yes! You talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. When you have a reliable big man like Lopez who can get you buckets like that, it's really such an asset for a team. Curry looking it over. He shoots it. Catch! Yeah, I tell you what, Steph Curry, somebody lit a fire under him. And finds out of the Kumpo. Lopez passes to Lillard. Connaughton with a screen on Curry. Here's Lillard. Oh, nice D from Curry. Well, he's much better than that. Really, no excuse for missing that lane. And he commits the intentional foul. 
23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike, and they're right there within range. You know, late-game free throws are a lot different than early-game free throws in terms of making them. Good on the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. This is not someone you want to send to the line. Thompson loves coming through there in the clutch. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Now it's a two-possession game. Important foul shots right there. Timeout called. Milwaukee. They trail by five. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what's your take? But they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. They're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, he nails it! What a beautiful shot! Brings it within three! And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy to go to the line. He gets the first. And that gives him a four-point cushion. The greatest shooter ever. Yes, I said it. Steph Curry. A great option at the line here. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a five-point game. 16 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Connaughton outside. And it's in. And he's brought them within two points now. Antetokounmpo is a player who does a little bit of everything and all of it really well. Check out that pass. Team score. At the line for the Warriors. Play Thompson. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. He connects! And that one brings him within one! Middleton, the kind of player that simply relishes the pressure. He's comfortable taking the big shots. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. first one and that'll put him up too and you can tell being a leader comes naturally to curry he sets the tone out there and all his guys follow his lead and so both free throws good and it's a three-point game question is now can they protect the three-point lead he's given them and so it's the warriors who come out on top here what a performance they have here at home today I'll tell you what, these are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Steph, I know it's still early, but how do you evaluate this team and its ability to go the distance? Uh, in terms of communicating about our principles and how we're going to be successful, trying to chase another championship, we're definitely... Black tennis Hellcat, this is not Wakanda. Burberry flat, blend up, had to pop the collar. 95, I'm still sliding in the bottom of the bottle. I'm a warrior with this nine, but I'm not a dog. I mean...